What's up everybody? Chris Park here. I am finding myself today in a small part in the northwest part of Tokyo called Kawagoe. This is kind of a cool part of town because it's sort of uh, vintage to say the least. Vintage in that they've preserved a lot of the Edo era buildings from way back in the day. And, uh, well, I figured let's check it out. There's a couple of places that I've been wanting to hit up. Let's see if they're any good. It should also be noted, I have not had my coffee. And it's rather early. So it's nowhere near as crowded as it should be here. And I'm nowhere near as chipper as I normally would be. So, well, let's keep on trucking. For those of you thinking about traveling to Japan, uh, you'll find that most train stations have a pretty big shopping area like this one over here. This is what's called a shoten guy, which literally translates to shopping alley. Um, you'll find a lot of different kinds of things, pachinko, kombinis, ramen, a lot of places uh, you know, to buy clothes and souvenirs and stuff normally. I found a reproof. Hot coffee, I got my coffee. I'm feeling good. This is really good coffee, by the way. And that store clerk was really cool. He could tell a mile away that I wasn't Japanese, so he was just like, oh, where are you from? And I was like, ah, oh, I'm from America. Yeah, you're probably gonna get that a lot when you come out here, by the way. Uh, so don't sweat it if you don't speak Japanese. Anyway, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we've made it to the historic part of Kawagoe. Now, as I said, this is a pretty cool old school part of Tokyo. They preserved a lot of the Edo era buildings here. And as such, it is absolutely packed full of tourists and fancy cars. As you can see above my head, there's a bunch of uh, little fish kites. The significance of which leaves me right now, but they're really cool looking. It's a lot of them. All right, that was absolutely delightful. But uh, anyway, let's go see if our uh, spot's open. Let's go check it out. So this place, Re 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 no Reko, 
is actually more of a cafe lounge than a record store. But they do have some pretty interesting things on display. Uh, first though, looking at the little menu that they got here, you can choose between curry and taco rice. And you can either get a regular drink or alcohol. They even got desserts and takeout. Here is the Kawagoe brand beer Koedo. Now Koedo as a brand is actually pretty famous here in Tokyo. And uh, this is the Session IPA, which was quite yummy. But anyway, take a look at the taco rice. Literally, it's a taco, but instead of a tortilla, rice. Uh, anyway, turning to the rest of the record shop, it's cramped quarters in here, but they got their own little merch section, got some cool stuff, and they have some pretty interesting limited local releases, along with some more well-known LPs. Uh, to the left of that, however, is where things get interesting. There are some bins, full of just different city pop albums. If you're a city pop fan, this is a hidden gem. They even got some tiny little cassettes in the corner. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this shop, at least in person. If you go online to their website, they have a little bit more to offer. This is their site here. It offers also a map of the location. It has a full list of their food menu, along with the different types of alcohol that they have. So again, would suggest you check it out. This place also does live events and they usually cater to the more local punk scene here. So that's pretty cool. You can always come by and get a show. Uh, to their online shop though, this is where you can pick up some of their merch. Quite honestly, their aesthetic is really cool. I like, picked up a pair of socks and a beanie and a t-shirt actually, so would recommend. Uh, you could also get tea, oddly enough here, as well as some of the more eclectic, esoteric, local LP releases. Overall, it's a cool little shop. If you've got the time, come check them out here in Kawakoe. So one thing that the area of Kawagoa is known for is sweet potato. This particular uh, pastry I got over here is sweet potato with cheese, which should be pretty good. It's also really hot, so I'm not going to bite into it just yet. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's scalding hot. That's also delicious. Now again, as I was saying earlier, Kawagoe is kind of a historical part of Japan in that a lot of the buildings over here were pretty much untouched by uh, World War II. And so this is really where you're going to see a lot of old school Edo era architecture outside of Kyoto. It's really cool. Don't let their outward appearance fool you. These are not baguettes. Kalago is known for these big, best I can describe them as are giant sweet potato Cheetos. They're really tasty, but kind of, eh. Now, the other thing that Kawago is known for is its line of beer. They have really good beer out here. Got myself an IPA. Uh, so yeah, if you're a thirsty dude like me, 
cannot be beat. It's pretty good beer. Let's go get more food. Approaching, I think, the place. I saw it on Google Maps. I, I think this is it over here. All right. So they have coffee. You can get a cake set and some other assorted goods. And then on the second floor, there's a cafe. First floor's got the records though, so. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm at the Amanda Cafe and Listening Room. Uh, hopefully it should be cool in there. Let's see. You are listening to the sultry sounds of the very interesting classical music being played from the actual store. Uh, but yeah, this place is weird, man. The first floor is just bins of LPs that you can buy, but really that's not the the intention here. The intention is you choose from one of these LPs and you have them play it on their homemade turntable. This thing is, it, it's cool. Like they built it themselves. The magic though comes when you go upstairs. There's sort of this little loft lounge area here, which is really old school. Again, in Japan, we would call it Showa in aesthetic, but, I mean, look at this. Here, you have a wall of books, but not just books, my friends, reel-to-reel -reel tapes uh, of different types of music here. A lot of the tapes are blank, apparently, but there are some interesting gems that you can bring down as well. And uh, you can apparently read some manga here, too. But again, this is a listening lounge. You order coffee, you can also get desserts, and then you just sit and listen to the music that you choose. These speakers here, they look honestly pretty cruddy, but the sound is actually really awesome. The aesthetic inside is very uh, eclectic, to say the least, but it's a charming little spot. Honestly, I was blown away by how cool this place was. I was also the only person in there, so it was kind of just me and my own thoughts. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, this place is pretty sweet. They're open every day from 11 to 9 o'clock, with their last order being 8.30. Uh, if you are down to listen to some classical music with a cup of coffee, this is a pretty cool place to do it. I'd highly suggest you come check it out if you're in Kawagoe. But anyway, that'll do it for me today. This car passed by. That'll do it for me today, my friends. Uh, if you liked any of the locations and you find yourself in the Kawagoeshi area, please don't be afraid to hit any of them up. But anyway, as always, please be safe and please be blessed. And until next time, take care, my friends.